guys to the first lecture on cash flows. Now this first lecture is going to be very conceptual just to get you thinking about the difference between cash flows and accruals. There are no notes, no handouts, just watch the video and understand what I'm talking about. So let's take the scenario now, right? Let's work with the cost of sales figure that comes directly out of our statements of profit and loss and OCI. This is done on a cruel basis, right? So let's pretend that figure was 250. And that was made up of the following calculation. Let's say that that figure was made up of opening stock of 200. It was made up of purchases, both on credit and cash, of 300. And we subtract closing stock. Let's pretend that figure was 250. Throws out this cost of sales figure in profit or loss as an expense of 250. Now that is based on a cool accounting, right? Because we are doing the adjustments for opening stock and closing stock to make sure the expense of inventory, okay, the cost of sales is recorded in the same period in which it is actually sold, not when it's purchased. That's a cruel accounting. So now for cash flows, I need to go from this accrual accounting figure back to the cash flow figure. So the first thing is, let's work back to get purchases. <clears throat> so what do I do here? I'm first going to subtract the opening stock figures of 200 from cost of sales. I'm then going to add back cost closing stock of 250. And this will now give me my purchases figure of 300. So we're back to purchases. But remember, this was purchases that were on cash and those that were on credit. So what do I need to do? Now I must adjust my creditors, my trade payables, to see how much was the cash flow from the current year. So here I'm going to add back, we'll add the opening creditors. Okay, and we can assume those opening creditors were paid in the current year. Let's pretend that figure is 100 rand. Okay, and that comes from the statement of financial position. And I'm going to subtract the closing creditors because closing creditors, well, they haven't been paid yet. Let's pretend that figure is 50. Also from the statement of financial position, but the current year's closing balance. That leaves me with a cash outflow of 350. So that is what I'm worried about now in terms of the cash flow statement. This top one is the, is the statement of profit or loss and OCI, which is accrual accounting. And then the 350 at the bottom that I've got to is the cash flow. And that's going to be in the statement of cash flows. So you need to keep this thought process in mind for every type of transaction that we deal with. Okay. Yes, we've got a nice fancy statement of cash flows we'll learn now, but everything's based on this basic underlying principle. Reverse out the accrual concepts, okay, both for opening stock, closing stock, closing payables, opening payables, etc. Okay, and get the cash inflow and outflow. Very different to the accrual figure. Please make sure you understand this. Watch it again if you need to before proceeding with the format driven stuff. Thank you.